Hey guys, Blood Groove here. We have an unboxing today. This one's uh, on loan uh, from Knife Review Channel, Dirk Warning. Dirk Warning. He's a really cool guy. I like his channel. He's got, uh, probably uploads five days a week. He's, he's just really uploading a lot of stuff. So check out his uh, channel. I'll uh, put a link in the description. Uh, you can also find him on Instagram at Dirk Warning YouTube. I'll put a link for that as well as in, in the description. So we've got one in here that I know what it is, and then I think he sent a couple of other ones, which I, I have no idea what they are. So let's pop this open and see what we have. Dirk was showing this one on his channel, and uh, I sent him an email uh, where I left a comment uh, mentioning it. Uh, to see if I could check it out because it has a has a bunch of features on there that I thought you know would be kind of fun to go through. Um, that uh, well, I'll be doing another video on. Let's see here. All right, I think he packages his stuff up pretty cool, good. So let's see what we have here. Okay, okay let's see. Spider goes, and who, so we got a total of four knives here. So let's go with the one that I know first. I believe this is it. The one that I, yeah. All right. So we have a Victorinox. And uh, as you know, Victorinox is a Swiss Army knife maker. And the reason this box is so big, because it's a big old Swiss Army knife. Look at that. Wow. All right. Let's check this out. Woo. Let's see real quick. I think it has 72 features. No. Okay. It's a Swiss champ with 73 functions. All right. And uh, I told Dirk if he loans it to me, I'll go ahead and uh, go through all seven, open this thing up and go through all 73 functions. I I don't think he wanted to do that. I don't, I don't know, but I thought it'd be kind of fun when you got a Swiss Army knife. You've got to go through everything, right? So let's see. This is woo, look at that. That's right. Palm size. There you go. There you go. So you could either cut someone with it or pop it in your hand like a roll of quarters, right? <laughs> well, let's pop out this first one and see what this is, because it's just it's just right there. What is it? Okay, so those are batteries. I guess it's spare batteries. Let's see here. Okay. Oh, you got a flashlight there. Okay. Okay, so you leave it flat and you just push on it there. Gotcha. Okay. Cool, cool. I could see how that might uh, get set off a bit though. One thing, it does have the keychain, uh, the keychain loop right there. So. Definitely got to put this on a key and put that in your pocket and uh, have it hanging, dangling in your car all the time when you're driving. I'll put some weight on there. <laughs> so I'm not going to go through all these right now. I just want to pop open a few, one of these, a couple of these earlier ones. So I can see what we have here. I believe this is the package hook. What is this one? Two package hooks? Okay, that's weird don't know what that's about Dirk was saying some of these you couldn't get open because they're just, they're just too hard to open up there's just so much pressure on that you heard that clank when it went down let's just clank one of them because that, that was two so it was in stereo listen to that wow that's some strong stuff there what do we have here okay you got a driver there torque spit driver and then you've got open that up and you've got some other torque spits in there one other torque spit flathead screwdriver and another torque spit okay cool so i'll do a video where i go through each of these and we'll see what they're all about pretty neat though really fun really fun let's see put that back in its box 
See you later, Victorinox. All right, what else do we have here? We've got a Spyderco, and this is, I don't know, uh, C231GP. Okay. I don't know what type of this is. Oh, okay, cool, I like that blade. It's kind of got that, uh, I don't want to call it a nest muck, but it's, you know, it's kind of got that nest mucky style blade right there. And you've got the uh, lock right up front here. So you can drop it right there. If you're daring enough to do it one-handed. Just drop it down. Pretty neat. That action's pretty neat right up here. It makes it convenient. So... So let's see if this says what stop what model this is. The Parada, okay. And the Parada is what does it say about it? Meaning prepared or ready in Latin. Okay. Well, pretty cool. All right. Let's see what else we have. We got two other ones. We got a, a Boker and something else. I can't see what that other one is yet. So let's go with the Boker. 06 EX270. Well, it's made in USA, which is surprising because it is a Boker Plus. And those are usually the Chinese made ones. Let's see. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, cool. Cool. Okay. Boom. I thought about buying one of these. This is cool. Okay, it's that little D2 blade. And it's, uh, this is the the hard drive. Not the hard drive, the, the USB drive. The USB drive switchblade. Oh yeah, that's fun. Oh, cool, I'm glad to see this, get this in my hands. I was thinking it would be smaller than this. This is nice. That's a fun one, def definitely a fun one. Wow, that's got a, sh you hear that action? That is heavy. All right, all right. Let's see. And what is, uh, I think it's just called the USB. It doesn't say, but yeah, that's what it is. It's 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 the USB. It's it's made to be like a USB. Uh, you pop it right there on your keychain, and it just blends in. You wouldn't even know anything else. But, that it was anything else just by taking a quick glance at it and then we have is that, is that it just those four? yeah and then we have something from best tech the stray light i've heard of that one i, th I think i remember seeing here remember seeing it on his channel the stray light recognize the name at least let's see Best Tech Knives. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, all right. I did that pretty good. All right. Nice. Look at that. So this is that, uh, what are those things called? I can't remember what they're called, but self-defense weapon, self-defense tool. Uh, and you could, uh, can you do it backwards too? Yeah, you can do it backwards. Let's see, the, the side is sharpened. Is this side sharpened or not? Yeah, that side, yeah. Okay, so this is the this is the dull side, and then the reverse right here is sharpened. So you can punch with it, or you can uh, claw with it like this, or actually claw with it downward too. It's cool like this i've seen this one too but uh this kind of like it fits right in your little fifth pocket there um let's see here yeah let me try that on my fifth pocket real quick oh yeah cool yeah that fits nicely it comes up just a little 
Nice little deep carry on your on your pocket clip there. And that Damascus makes it really cool. Wow, that's a nice little solid solid action there. Let's see what steel type. Let's see. No, that doesn't say one way or the other. Anyway, well, it's pretty cool. I'm I, I, I'm glad he got sent this. It's a neat one that I've I've always kind of uh, seen these types of knives, but I'm not really familiar with them. They're not really. I don't know. I just don't get this whole stabbing like this with the with the fist, uh, uh, you know, punching with it like that. That just I don't know. I always feel like it's just gonna you know go off in your hand one way or the other, and you're gonna break your hand or something. So um, I don't know, but definitely is a neat little blade so uh, thank you Dirk for sending these that there that there and what was that again the parrot or something what was it one more time the parada the parada VG10 blade Pronounced belly, high flat grind, and let's see, linerless G10 handle with the stop lock. Stop lock being the one up here. Ambidextrous, and I guess it's some sort of a self-defense blade. I don't know, it looks like a tool to me. Prepared or ready, maybe prepared or ready for survival? Because, I mean, look, to me it looks like it's a tool. Like a, you know, something, that, a survival type thing. You've got that big belly in the blade there. You can, you can uh, um, grip up top here like I'm doing. Um, or you can grip back and, you know, Chop with it and some act chopping action there. Um, it's designed by Paul Alexander, who's a has a PhD in mechanical engineering. And yeah, so pretty cool, all pretty neat. And where where did the Victorinox go? Can we fit that on the screen as well? Do to do, do to do. So, like I said, I'll be doing a, a an individual review of this, uh, showing all seventy three functions. Uh, so stay tuned for that, and uh, probably be a long one. I may have to break it up into uh, two two parts or something like that. We'll see. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed seeing this these knives. Bye.